In this video, we're going to take a look at some how you do basic editing in Excel 2019. Uh, there are several types of data that you can put into a cell in Excel. Uh, the most basic one is text. If you just type words into a cell like that, um, hit the enter key, uh, the, that's the contents of the cell. And there are things that you can do with text, and we'll look at those in a later video. Um, Notice that text is, oh, I'm going to widen this column a little bit here. Notice that text is always left aligned in Excel. Uh, the other thing you can put in, or another thing, is numbers. Let's put in a 1 or a 2 here. And the thing you notice about the numbers is that they are right aligned instead of left aligned. So uh, normally you want numbers right aligned so that, you know, the 1's columns line up under the 1's columns and the 10's columns line up under the 10's columns and so on. Uh, so numbers are right aligned. Um, it is possible, let's see what happens up here. I think we can center numbers and we can also left align. Uh, I don't know when you would ever want to left align numbers. Um, most of the time you wouldn't want to center them either. I uh, usually want them right aligned so that those columns will line up. Uh, it is possible every once in a while you might see a number that is left aligned. Uh, usually this happens if you're like pulling something in from another data source. And I've, I'm going to put an apostrophe in front of the number one and then hit enter. And uh, the apostrophe makes it into text. And uh, it's not a number now. And we want things to be numbers if we're going to be um, doing calculations with them in Excel. And you do notice one thing here, actually two things. Uh, there's a little green tab there. And that means that Excel found something in this cell that might be, uh, might be wrong. And when you click on the cell with the green tab, the little uh, yellow diamond with an exclamation mark appears. And if you click on the down arrow there, uh, it tells you what the problem is. Um, some of these messages are okay. Some of them aren't really very good. Uh, this one happens to be a pretty good one. And it tells you that we've got numbers stored as text. And if I tell it I want to convert it to a number, uh, the apostrophe is gone. And if you look up here, uh, no apostrophe. And so it's now being treated as a number. It's also possible in Excel to enter dates. And so let's click here and I'm going to type in 1 slash 1 slash 20 and hit enter. And you'll see that even though I only type in two digits, it automatically puts the number 20 in front of it. Uh, Excel has been doing that at least since the year 2000, uh, possibly longer. Uh, it is possible to format with a two digit year if you want to, but the default is a four digit year even if you only type in two digits. And notice that the dates are also right aligned and that tells you something about how dates are implemented in Excel. They're actually implemented as numbers as well. Uh, the earliest date you can type in is 1 slash 1 slash 1900. And if I type that and hit enter, um, I get 1 slash 1 slash 1900 right aligned under the other date. If I try going back one day though, 12 slash 31 slash 1899 and hit enter, that does not get right aligned. Uh, it still looks like a date, but uh, it's not. It's just ordinary text, just like the word name and the word address up here. Uh, the reason that dates are stored as numbers in Excel is so that Excel can easily do date arithmetic by uh, subtracting two dates and, and, and determining the number of days in between. Uh, if I try to do date arithmetic with a number before January 1st, 1900, all I'm going to get is an error. Okay. It's also possible to edit data. Um, probably the most common way to edit data in a cell is just double click on the cell. So I clicked on, double clicked on name up here. Uh, I get a little one line word processor with an I beam. I can use my arrow keys to move back and forth. I can hit the home key, which I'm doing right now, and it'll take me to the beginning of the line. I can hit the end key, it'll take me to the end of the line. And it's not a big deal with four characters, but if you got some longer text in there, um, those shortcuts come in handy. So uh, if I want to edit it, uh, make it first name instead of name, just, you know, double click and hit the enter key. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with address here. I'm going to double click on it. Um, I can also edit it up here on the formula bar. And whatever I do up here is going to appear down below and vice versa. So let's say I want home address here. And I type it up on the formula bar. It also appears down here in the cell. And if I hit... Uh, 
Well, when you're done, hit enter. I'm not going to hit enter this time. I'm instead I'm going to hit escape. If you get partway through editing and you realize that that's not really what you wanted to change, you can hit the escape key and it reverts back to what it was before. Uh, that's not really a big deal. I'm going to double click on this again and just put the word home in front. And let's say you go ahead and hit the enter key, which I'm doing right now. Um, if you didn't want to do that, you want to go back to where it was before. Uh, if you catch it right away, the undo command will get you back to where you were before as well. Um, you can also um, select a cell or a whole bunch of cells. Let's select all of them here and hit the delete key on the keyboard. Not the backspace key, but the delete key. Uh, they do two different things. They're similar things, but they're not exactly the same. If you want to delete the contents of a cell, um, hit the delete key. Now I want something back, so I'm going to undo that and bring my data back. So that's the easy way to do it. You can select any amount of data that you want to and hit delete and the cells will be cleared. Um, you can also uh, right click and actually I'm not going to select all of them this time. We're just going to select um, these cells right here. Actually I'll do a couple of empty cells too. So everything between uh, the labels up here and the dates down here. I'm going to right click this time and I'm going to choose delete and this is a little bit different. Uh, if I choose delete from the pop-up menu uh, it not only clears the contents of the cells, but it gives you some options. It actually deletes the cells, and it will let you take the cells that are below it and move them up. Uh, it'll let you take uh, the cells that are to the right and slide them over. We don't have anything to the right here, so I'm going to say shift the cells up, and these three numbers down here, these are these two dates and the text, will slide up. And that's the difference between delete from the pop-up menu and hitting the delete key on the keyboard. And again, I'm going to undo that and bring back the data that I had before. So those are the basics of entering data into cells in Excel and um, editing the data after you've already created it.